Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Kevin Black here, coming live from uh, motorbike. So I hope you are doing well, guys. Thank you so much for always coming back to my YouTube channel, watching my videos. Please give this video a like, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Road to 5,000 subscribers. So I'm just uh, heading to my site. We are doing day three of Gypsum. I'm gonna be updating you on what's going on. Yesterday they did the they did the the sitting room and the master bedroom. We started with those one because we felt that like those are the biggest rooms. Eh? I told you guys I used to fellowship here when I was staying this side. Yeah, so uh, we started with the master bedroom and the living room because those are they are spacious enough yeah so once they are done with those ones those other rooms are will be very easy i'm just gonna walk you through and uh, take you to the three work if you haven't watched the videos that i did please go back to my previous videos on day one and day two of uh, gypsum uh, check them out guys and uh, also view and like those videos they are amazing content the good thing is that the designs that we have, we have chosen for especially the living room is the, the latest design I think by today uh, the structure will be so much clear the design will be so much clear and you'll be able to see because they are doing they are, they are gonna finish to the, the, the master bedroom and the living room today so maybe from tomorrow they'll start on those other, those other rooms or even today uh, but I'm sure that uh, the design for master bedroom and sitting room are done so walk with me guys uh, it rained so much this side you can see the road is very muddy you can just see there's a lot of mud everywhere so this needs uh, an expert like my guy here who knows how to ride a motorbike otherwise you might fall down because of rain that this place is very green and we thank God for that so let's see what the guy, the boys are doing back there so I've just arrived here uh, as you can see this is my way actually that's the man who have brought me uh, the guy going there uh, with the, the motorbike so that's the way that connects the main road and uh, this is my highway the things that you see here uh, you can call them what are they called is it maram or what these ones these ones uh, were removed from my house eh? when i did the hacking as you can see it has some cement on it eh? you can just see uh, these ones eh? they have some cement and uh, uh, what what will i call them the particles that belongs to the wall so they were at my home and I decided to bring them and uh, use them here and it really rained heavily yesterday you can see this soil erosion I hope it will be visible for you you can see this it's a, a tricky situation guys a very tricky situation I remember in here okay so I'm just saying hi to my grandma. Uh, so uh, this is my way, my my walkway. Uh, let me just show you. Yeah. So if you if you stand here, you'll see that this is the the house is up there. If, let me be, let, let me just zoom a little bit. Yeah, that's my house, eh? And uh, this is my walkway. So. You can see how the walkway is bushy. I have plans for it, guys. Uh, I'm planning to trim this side and also this side because this way is very big. Or oh, this path is uh, it's wide. It's wide. It's around uh, six meters, and because it's been left bushy for a long time, these things just keep growing and making it look like it's narrow. So I'm gonna trim this uh, fence up to a certain point where that bird is i don't know if you can see it yeah and also this side 
I'm going to trim it and plow up to around that fence where my neighbor has put his fence here yeah? or where you can see that uh, mango tree. So it's around 5 to 6 meters wide which makes it very big. And for this soil erosion I don't know what I'll do because if you look at here you'll see that the, when it rains just look at here when it rains the water carries some soil and takes it with it even these things these are have been deposited here by rainwater that was moving so maybe I'll just uh, after after trimming it because I'm also planning to plant some trees on either side of it of this pathway uh, I'll use uh, different types of trees eh? I, I want to put one one species of a tree I'll use different types eh? so maybe with this one uh, with this aeration I'm thinking of digging a what is it called is it a trench or something uh, that will be taking that water down if we we'll plaster it it will be well and good because uh, this water will make this road or this path to be very very unbearable especially when it rains heavily as, as you can see this point I even used uh, some stones this used to be like a, a, a hole there are so many holes along this path so the 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 the, the, the stones that i was uh, extracting from my my building are the ones that i used to fill these holes at least make it try to make it flat but assuming it rains for for a month it's like this will be back to the same situation that we were so those are my thoughts on how i should maybe if you have any idea on how we should make this walkway uh, better or path better you just can tell me in the comment section what you think and it keeps getting wide as you move uh, towards the, the 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 gate you can see that is the distance from where the fence is I don't know if you can see that fence yeah that one coming this way all this is the path so it gets wide wide and wider and uh, it's really difficult uh, to make this path because it's very hard if you want to plow because the, the generally the, the best thing to do is to plow it level it first if you're planning maybe to plant grass on it to avoid this aeration you have to plow because you can't plant a grass in some somewhere like that, that looks like this eh? it won't grow this place is so hard and rocky so ideally you have to plow it and uh, the best method of plowing is maybe using uh, a jembe because if you use a tractor tractor will bring more furrows what can i call them or holes you know a tractor it all depends with the tractors the big tractors can't 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 fit here so you'll have to look for one that is small the one that plows and turns the soil or maybe i'll start with that one and then if uh, it's when i decide to use a uh, human labor or use a jembe so this is the uh, area in front of my gate and uh, you can see how it's wide from that side where the toilet is that's a toilet by the way and the bathroom it was a temporary a temporary one that the my fundis were using and this is my gate that i'm also planning to work on but i was feeling that uh, when uh, i i love to wait for this fence to grow because i already told you that this is my perimeter wall uh, it's very expensive it's a, a tricky situation to to plant uh, to, 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 to build a perimeter wall especially when you, you don't have enough money so it's kind of easy to use these flowers and uh, the kayaba these ones that are thorny 
that's what I decided to do. Just do your fencing and use this one. These are Arthony from the outside and the flowers from the inside. And I'm very glad that it rained. So today we won't be watering anything in this compound. And you can see yesterday my landscaper was plowing here. Wow, just look at that. I think I really love those flowers. They look amazing. If you look at them and they are still growing. We'll start trimming them soon by soon and very soon. Uh, because they are the fence. We are waiting for them. Once the flowers have grown, I think that's uh, up to us uh, up to the fence level here. That's when we'll decide to to put a gate because for now it seems awkward to put a very big gate here with no wall or what do you guys th what do you guys think because this my gate also is not that uh what can i say it, it it can't it can't prevent someone from getting in if somebody decides to steal from here people are very energetic at home people hit eat a lot so they can just come with a pang and remove this one so it's just a temporary maybe just to avoid or uh, block things like animals cows that don't have brains eh? because they can't come and with a pang and approach this one so i'm thinking that after my perimeter fence have grown i'll i'll put a gate there but i can still decide to just uh, build my gate eh? as we wait for this to grow because look at here but the good thing is that they are growing so fast they are growing so fast and that's my temporary toilet that's being used in the compound because i haven't done any septic or biodigester in this compound so that's why we are still using that one uh, temporarily it is safe yeah wow i think rain is beautiful you can just look and see at the compound how it looks from this view it's because of the rains and i love this flower if you can see it yeah? it just looks nice especially when you view it from this point the grass is going to grow cover this whole area and it's gonna look amazing it's gonna look amazing amazing and i don't know today there's more visible maybe it's because the, it rained yesterday and uh, this was another issue that I'm, I'm having here that i have to look into this one soil aeration is a tricky situation guys it's a tricky situation but i'll i'll just look i'll, I'll just see what to do because that is the road and I can't put a, a faro to carry that water on the road. But I think when the, this grass will be covering this whole area, it will be very good and easy uh, to deal with that erosion. Because the places where the grass has grown or have grown seems to be okay with the rainfall. Like there's no erosion around those areas. Wow. Just look at that view. It, it looks it looks amazing today. It looks amazing. And like every day when I record the videos, today the compound seems so much green and the trees and the plants and the grass are healthy. Even the flowers. These flowers are still very young, but today you can see them along that line. They are looking very very healthy. And this is my walkway now from the gate if you just turn like this slowly by slowly you'll see how the grass is healthy and uh, that's my walkway to the gate and that's down there is my path uh, I started doing this video look at those trees how they are looking amazingly amazing today they are even more healthy than I think it needs to be raining once a while so that this plant they, they don't forget that they should grow they should be also glowing they should also shine they should also overcome their fears and outgrow 
ah, there are problems. Yeah, so I'm just getting to the house. I'm going to show you what they are doing for day three of this gypsum work. And I think today, wow, look at this tree. I think it's called cricket or cri cricket, yeah? Cricket it is. I, I usually love it so much. I love it so much. Wow, look at that. <coughs> today the compound seems green. This area have not been uh, made up well. Like this, uh, this also has to be dug and landscaping has to be done here. This is where the, the stones that I was telling you that were on the road were, were removed. You can even see how it looks like. They were removed here. The, oh. My guys here are cooking. I don't know what they are cooking. This is how we cook in the village, yeah? Look at that. That is fire and firewood. Let me see what they are cooking here. Yes, somebody brought cassava. This is cassava, guys. I feel like testing it. It's been decades since I, I ate this thing. But now that I'm here, and it's almost like... Let me remove this one. Because the, the fire seems to be too much for it. The water has dried up, and these guys are not around. I think I should, should just remove everything. How am I going to remove this now? Wow, look at that. You know when you eat like five of these or three, you can work for three days. Amazing. I'll test one. So this is the area that we have not done landscaping and it should be done because you can see it's very shaggy even. A lot of, a lot of litter, a lot of stand, uh, stuff like this that needs to be worked on. This is my, what is it called, a pipe for my water from my borehole. So I have a switch in the house. If I put it on or switch it on, the borehole is here where I get my water from that I usually use to uh, water my grass even when it doesn't rain. Yeah, so this is my borehole. I don't know if I should show you, remove this one and show you. The borehole is here, this one. This. So I have a pipe there and a pump, a solar pump. So I usually connect this one. This is the pipe, I usually connect it here. And switch the pump on. And it supplies this whole area. And uh, some have stored into this water tank. My plan is that I'll put a water tower, a metallic one. This is full of water. I couldn't store it like without water, so somebody can even steal it. But when it's full of water like this, it's very heavy. You can't push it. It's very heavy. So my landscaper is the one who decided to make this stand here. But I'm, I, I think I told him to just wait because uh, though it seems so much strong, it's not moving. And he told me that uh, he's just making this temporarily because uh, it's like I was taking too long to put a water tower and so much water was needed for this, uh, this grass and the, and, the, and the flowers. Wow, look at this, guys. If you look at this line, I just love the, the yellow flowers, eh? how they are growing. It's just amazing, amazingly amazing. I love it. I think even if I had money to do the perimeter wall, 
I could still plant the flowers uh, along the perimeter wall. Yeah, so my landscaper was telling me uh, that he needs water, he needed water for those flowers and stuff. But because the metal was expensive and I was still doing some other things, he decided to make this, which I think I'm just going to let him carry on because he stopped. I stopped him, told him that I'm not trusting this thing. It can break up and my water tank, this is 5,000 liters only, but it's very heavy. When it's full, it's heavy. What do you guys think? Do you think uh, this wooden water tower can support a 5,000 liter? Because he told me that he'll still add some more wood here along this line. And another support there, another one there, and it will be very strong. And it seems strong, but maybe it's because I'm, I'm human, and uh, it's a water tank. So there might be a different there, difference. Yeah, this is my store. I haven't built a, a reasonable store. It was a tentative store. You know, we're just doing something because you want to do it. You have a plan, but the fa the finances is not financing. So sometimes you just end up doing things like this, so that you can achieve this. It doesn't matter the way. The end result is what ma it's what ma matters. So I'm gonna take you to the house and what we have done there, as for gypsum day three. So I'll start with the bedroom because uh, they are still working on the other side eh? and I think that uh, they have just finished the bedroom design. Uh, this is the design I wanted for bedroom. Just simple and elegant. doesn't make the house look so much busy. Sometimes people put, uh, but it all depends with you. People put a lot of designs in the bedroom. For example, that even if you want to sleep, you just see some demons. <laughs> so uh, mine is just simple. I think they did, uh, I don't know if it will be visible from this point. The extension that I'm going to do here is just for, as you can see, I'm going to have some, somewhere to put like uh, your stuff. This is a hollow, it's, it's even written it there, I don't know if you can see. Maybe it is opposite because uh, I'm using the front camera. This is the rear of the front, the selfie camera. On a, another hollow here. So on this block, I'm gonna have this. Uh, this is a switch uh, in front of it, yeah. And uh, also here, this is a socket. I'm gonna have it on the block, so that here you can put maybe your phone if you want to sleep. Because it, nowadays we don't use those beds that usually have uh, the wardrobes on, on top of the bed. So this one will be helpful. Yeah, so that is the design. I think they are just done. After they finish this one, they are in on the other, another side of uh, the bed. We have this one, and we'll have another one here. Where you see, you see they have drawn the lines. This is gonna be our bracket, and uh, also this is gonna be our bracket on this side. Eh? Yeah, so that is the design for my bedroom. I think they are just done. Uh, the bedroom and uh, maybe if I take a video from this point you'll we'll be able to see this is a curtain bracket yeah I don't know if you let me put it this way so you can see we start from there who is it there up to here there so it's a curtain bracket we're gonna have those curtain uh, holders, I don't know what they, they are called, I, I don't know guys, inside, so that when you, you come, they're not, just ex they're not just exposed, yeah, yeah, so that is the design for bedroom, but I'm too sorry. let me just walk you through. that's how it looks like, Simple but elegant. We just gonna have a chandelier here. 
for a center light around somewhere there and we are gonna have the down lights down lights you know what down lights are yeah so the lights that are usually on the other side of the gypsum uh, material or the, the gypsum board so that's what was that, that's electrician's work so it's the one who will make those holes for the down lights so bedroom pretty much done let me just walk you to and of course i told you the the, the dressing room and the and the toilet uh, these ones they won't be any design huh? because for what reason we just gonna have a down light there center light though i have i'll have a mirror mirror light eh? on this wall we have a mirror here because this is a dressing room you have to look at yourself in your dressing same to the toilet yeah I won't have any design, it's just gonna be flat with the center light. Eh? And maybe some other people prefer to have decorations and uh, designs on the bedroom, on the, on the toilet, but I don't. So, but I don't think it's done yet. Uh, we, those cornices, where do we put them? Along this line? This line. Huh? And also this line. Uh, and this one is flower cornices and oh. this one is plain cornices. Oh, so this one is plain cornices. This one. And this one is the flower cornices. So every joint has to have cornices. Okay. So, so no problem. Yeah, so I, I think uh, it will even look more better after we have done the, 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 the cornices. Uh, it looks amazing. You can just see at least from this view. Yeah? Simple and elegant, simple and beautiful. I'll update you on uh, the final product. So right now you are doing the office, yeah? Yeah. Okay, no problem. So today, one team is already working on this. Uh, this is uh, office. Office. Eh? Mm. They are putting. This is a flat, flat board, flat board, mm. Mm. Uh, flat ceiling, and they are almost done. The on the office. Let me take you to the sitting room. What they have done? Yeah, this this part is being worked with another group. Are worked on with another group. Are they working on the corridor? Uh, they've also done the flat ceiling joint on the corridor. Yeah, as you can see, that's the flat. The flat ceiling joint on the corridor. Uh, that's towards my two master bedrooms and two two bedrooms, and uh, this other side is towards my master bedroom. Because this here is where we have. Living room. So the living room is almost also done. Uh, you can see yeah. from this point eh, how it looks like. Huh? Come. Maybe if I just turn around, but I hope you see the design. We also have a curtain for here because we're gonna have the curtain for the door here and two curtains for the two windows there. So this is the curtain bracket. Uh, the, uh, hiding for the curtain brackets here. It covers the whole length from here up to that other point. Yeah, so that is the, 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 the design for my sitting room or the living room. They are still working on it and uh, I think I'll give you an update on where they have reached. I can't wait for, to see how they make the TV area. That's what I'm eagerly waiting for. Using the marble, the panels and the stuff. Uh, but, uh, that's pretty much the design for sitting room. Maybe if they are finished and done the coloring and the painting, it will be more visible. For now, this is the best visibility I can give you. Yeah. I think it looks better from this point. Looks better from that 
35. Yeah. So this is gonna be our bracket. Also, this one is gonna be our bracket. And uh, we also have two old brackets there. One. One is there. And the other one is there. I also wanted uh, to have one here, but we're gonna uh, have to block this one because we're gonna be having curtains overlapping on the other side here. So this one bracket is gonna be removed, it's gonna be blocked. So it will be covered by the curtains. Yeah? So just in the morning, like they're starting today's work, maybe by evening, we'll have updated more videos on the same. Just stay tuned. Yeah, work is still going on. This is my office. Uh, they are still designing it. I think uh, by the time they are done, I'll be able to show you how it looks like. For now, that is how it looks like. And I think I like, I love the design. For here, we are just going to have uh, the center lights and maybe side lights. They, they won't be any snake lights. Eh? Uh, too much designs for office. The office is somewhere just want to chill and do your stuff. No so much decorations. Yeah. So this other team is working on the corridor. And uh, I think uh, this is the corridor. Uh, they are going for lunch. Taking some lunch there. Yeah, so that's how it looks like. I think uh, yeah so we're just gonna have uh, the lights for each partition like for here we'll have one light at the center there for this one we also have another light this is my cable for water pump eh? I'm gonna remove it and uh, it's gonna have its provision to at the kitchen for now it's just here because uh, the the cable is from the solar panel up there. So where it's passing is where we're gonna have a center light. <laughs> so every partition has a center light on it. Another one is here. Yeah, so step by step guys, until we reach a point where I'll show you after they have done the cornices. The cornices are this stuff, eh? those ones. I think you saw them. We have the flowered ones and then unflowered ones show you the final result yeah if you look at my roof uh, I used that polythene I told you the other time the reason why I used this one first in case of any leakages from the roof it doesn't drop on the gypsum board I uh, I also have the lights for what are they called bats they're around three or four I, maybe let me zoom you see that bulb there that one this one where is it this one yeah those bulbs they are around three up there so after this place is cold sometimes you find that the bats can leak but it's very difficult because for me you can see uh, there's no space between the the wall and the roof and uh, there's that uh, light but just in case maybe just maybe bat leaks uh, or sneaks not leaks, sneaks in 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 the inside here. Uh, the lights, this light will be helping. If you put that light on, the birds will run away. The birds will always run away. They don't like they don't love lights. So we have one there. Another one should be the other side. But now the 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 wall, the the, the lights has been the the, the gypsum board has been done. That one is in the bedroom side. Other one is in, I think, the other bedroom. I'll look for it and be able to show you. So these are some of the ideas that you should borrow, like putting this light. If you put it on, or switch it on for uh, a day or two, the bats will be gone. They won't be there. They'll just go away because they don't love light. They usually fly most of the time during the night. So if you light that place you won't see them yeah so i'll keep you updated guys step by step 
as everything is taking shape and taking place here. This is my living room. I think they are done. They, we are only left with the cornices. They will do the cornices and the living room is done, guys. Yeah. And uh, I think I love the flowers. Yeah, I love the flowers the most. Let me just show you from this point. You can see the flowers looks amazing. That writing, I think today it's 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 more visible because it rained. Eh? Let me take you to to it so that you can see. It's written welcome. Can you see well? This is well. Well, let me. If you look at it keenly from there, it is well. It is W E double L. Then come is this other side. I think this grass is gonna do well. Uh, it was my landscaper's idea. I didn't tell him to plant grass here, but I'm thinking that maybe, just maybe, I should have uh, what are they called? I'll confirm the name and tell you around this area but it no cause for an alarm alive i love plants i love green area this is a planted grass that's how they are planted if you look at here these are all planted they might seem like they are wilting but just give it these like you can see this one has already started coming up yeah so cam is the other side as you can see cam That is calm. Where is the other side? Calm is this other side. And the plants. You can look at my mini gazebo. Gazebo. That round area. This thing takes a lot of time because you have to, to make it a perfect circle. So at the center there, you have to. What is it called? Use something that makes it a, per a perfect circle, like something like a peg. So you put a peg down there and use a rope, make a circle, then plant the flowers along that circle. Wow, look at these flowers everywhere. When it rains, it gives the environment a very beautiful appearance i don't know if this tree grows tall but i wouldn't want because the house is just here i know he can't plant a tree that grows tall here so this looks like it just stagnates there or or even if it grows it can't be that big or that tall and here i have my garden i think most of you have seen it yeah this is my garden garden i uh, i think the end there is the only letter that uh, doesn't look well but uh, it will be trimmed well and i think it will grow well we'll hide we'll add more flowers to it on the end there so that we have our garden garden from this point, and a point where it can be fully, fully be visible. Garden. Amazing. That's pretty much it, guys, for this video. Probably I'll update you on what they have, uh, they have done today. Because this is day three. And uh, see you in the next one. Please like this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Share. And comment guys.